Greetings, and welcome once again to the Technomage Files. Today, we'll be talking about the phenomenon of shadow people and sleep paralysis. Let's go. Have you ever felt a presence in your room, but found nothing upon turning on the light? It's a chilling sensation that many of us have experienced, and it's not as uncommon as you might believe. Welcome to the world of shadow people, enigmatic entities that have puzzled and terrified individuals across the globe. These are not your typical ghosts or spirits. They are something distinct, something darker. Shadow people have been recognized and reported in a multitude of cultures, each with their own interpretations and folklore. From the menacing Nalusa Chito of Choctaw mythology to the ominous dark watchers in European traditions, the universal nature of these encounters is truly fascinating. They're described as dark, human-like silhouettes, often seen out of the corner of the eye, only to disappear when directly observed. Some are mere fleeting shadows, while others are reported to have more defined shapes, even appearing to wear hats or cloaks. Now you might be thinking, these are just figments of overactive imaginations, right? But consider this, thousands of people from all walks of life, all ages, and all corners of the world have reported experiences with these shadowy figures. Could it be mere coincidence that these sightings are so pervasive transcending cultural and geographical boundaries? Or is there something more to these shadow people? Something beyond our current understanding of the world? Let's not forget, the world is full of mysteries that were yet to unravel. Decades ago, phenomena like the northern lights or the bioluminescence of sea creatures were considered paranormal. Today, they're just another part of our understanding of this diverse and complex world, as we delve deeper into the realm of shadow people, let's remember, these experiences are more common than you might think. So the next time you feel a presence or see a fleeting shadow, take a moment. Could it be your mind playing tricks? Or could you be experiencing a brush with the unseen among us? Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, unable to move and feeling a presence nearby. Sounds like a nightmare, doesn't it? This unsettling scenario isn't a scene from a horror movie, it's a real-life experience known as sleep paralysis, a condition that strikes when a person is in the twilight zone between wakefulness and sleep. Sleep paralysis can be a truly terrifying experience. So what exactly is sleep paralysis? In the simplest terms, it's a brief loss of muscle control, known as atonia, that happens just after falling asleep or waking up. In this state, you're conscious, but unable to move or speak. This can last for several seconds to a couple of minutes, with some folks even reporting feeling a sense of choking or difficulty breathing. Now, where do the shadow people come in? Well, one of the most unnerving aspects of sleep paralysis is the accompanying hallucinations. These can include a range of sensations, from sounds, smells, and feelings of touch, to visions of figures or shadows. Yes, you heard that right. Many who've gone through sleep paralysis report seeing shadowy figures, often humanoid in form, looming over them or lurking in the corners of the room. Medical science chalks this up to the brain being in a state of high alert. The brain, caught between sleep and wakefulness, is essentially dreaming with open eyes. It's the mind's attempt to make sense of the paralysis, creating a narrative from the random firing of neurons. On the other hand, there's the psychological aspect. Sleep paralysis can be triggered by factors like irregular sleep schedules, stress, and certain mental health conditions. The experience of sleep paralysis and the accompanying hallucinations can be so vivid that they leave a lasting impact, leading to fear, anxiety, and distress. So could these shadow people be a terrifying byproduct of sleep paralysis? Or is there more to the story? As we delve deeper into the realm of the unknown, remember, Sometimes the shadows aren't just shadows, and the night isn't just for sleep. Are shadow people figments of our imagination, or are they interdimensional beings observing us? This question has prompted a myriad of theories and sparked heated debates among experts and enthusiasts alike. Let's delve into the heart of these discussions. At one end of the spectrum, we have the psychological perspective. Some psychologists propose that shadow people are a product of sleep paralysis, 
a condition where one's mind awakens before the body, leading to hallucinations. Others suggest they could be a result of heightened emotional states, where fear or stress might trigger the mind to perceive threats in the form of shadowy figures. Then there are the physiological theories. Neurologists argue that certain brain malfunctions or conditions like epilepsy could cause one to see shadowy figures. Ophthalmologists on the other hand point to peripheral vision phenomena, where the eyes, particularly the rods responsible for low-light vision, might misinterpret visual data, creating the illusion of shadow people. Beyond the realm of science, some delve into the paranormal. These theories suggest that shadow people are not mere illusions but entities from another plane of existence. Some propose they're spirits or ghosts, trapped between our world and the next. Others, more daring, entertain the idea of interdimensional beings, entities from a parallel universe observing us, or even time travelers casting shadows from the future. The theories are as varied as they are fascinating. Each perspective, each proposition, adds another layer to the mystery, fueling debates and discussions in forums, research papers, and late-night gatherings. Skeptics and believers alike grapple with the enigma, each side armed with their rationales and experiences. The debate rages on, but one thing is clear. The phenomenon of shadow people continues to intrigue and terrify us. Whether they're illusions born of our minds or visitors from beyond our comprehension, shadow people persist in the corners of our vision, in the whispers of our fears, and in the depths of our curiosity. What does it feel like to encounter a shadow person? Let's hear some first-hand accounts. Picture this. You're lying in bed, the room bathed in darkness. Suddenly, out of the corner of your eye, you notice a figure. It's darker than the surrounding shadows, and it seems to be watching you. This is the chilling experience many have reported when encountering what's known as a shadow person. The emotional impact of these encounters is profound. A woman named Patricia recalls waking up in the middle of the night to see a tall, dark figure looming over her bed. She described a feeling of overwhelming fear, a sense of dread that clung to her long after the figure had vanished. She wasn't just scared, she was terrified. Emotions run high in these situations, and the fear that grips those who've had these encounters is palpable. It's a fear that's hard to shake, one that lingers long after the shadow person has disappeared. But there's a common thread in these tales, the distinct features of the shadow people. They're described as dark humanoid figures, often seen in peripheral vision. Some accounts speak of red or glowing eyes, others of a hat or cloak. But the most consistent detail is their uncanny ability to vanish when directly observed. Take Richard, for instance. He recalls a period in his life when he'd frequently see shadow figures in his peripheral vision. But the instant he'd turn to look, they'd disappear. Intriguingly, he noticed a pattern. He'd only see these figures when he was under significant stress or had been neglecting his emotional well-being. These personal experiences, though varied, share an uncanny similarity. They force us to question our understanding of reality, of what lurks in the shadows when we're not looking. But remember, these are personal accounts, anecdotes that hint at a possibility. They are not definitive proof of anything. They are, however, incredibly fascinating and shed light on an aspect of our world that remains largely unexplored. These personal accounts bring us closer to understanding the enigmatic nature of shadow people what can you do if you encounter a shadow person or experience sleep paralysis? It's a question that may have crossed your mind, especially if you've been following this journey with us. Encountering the unknown can be daunting, but there are ways to cope and even overcome these experiences. When it comes to sleep paralysis, the key is understanding that it's a natural phenomenon, a hiccup in the brain's transition between sleep stages. If you find yourself paralyzed in sleep, Remember to stay calm. Try to wiggle your fingers or toes, as focusing on small movements can often help snap you out of it. Deep, controlled breathing can also be beneficial, not only in reducing panic, but also in potentially helping to end the episode. As for shadow people, the strategies may vary, as these entities are more enigmatic. Some people find comfort in spiritual or religious practices. Prayer, meditation, or invoking protective spirits or entities could offer a sense of safety. It's about what resonates with you and your belief system. 
In some cultures, talismans or amulets are used as protective measures against shadow people. These could be anything from a small trinket to a piece of jewelry, often imbued with positive energy or protective power. Again, the effectiveness of these items largely depends on your personal beliefs and the strength of your conviction. It's also worth mentioning that maintaining a positive and healthy lifestyle can go a long way in warding off negative experiences. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and good sleep hygiene can help create a stronger mental foundation, making you less susceptible to such phenomena. Finally, don't underestimate the power of knowledge. The more you understand about these experiences, the less frightening they become. This, in turn, can help you to remain calm and assertive during an encounter. Whether shadow people are real or not, the fear they invoke is very much real. By understanding more, we can learn to cope and even control these eerie experiences. Thank you for joining us here on the Technomage Files. We'll see you again here soon in our next episode.